Hi guys the auspicious and joyous festival of Ganesh Chaturthi is almost here and what better way to welcome Lord Ganesha with his most favorite mithai modak Today's recipe is a delicious twist on the classic modaks soft and luscious filled with a delicious gulkand filling these melt in your mouth kaju gulkand modaks will surely delight your taste buds So let's begin We will start off by grinding whole cashews into a coarse powder. Just make sure to not run the blender for too long otherwise the cashews will start releasing oil. So simply pulse the cashews until you get a powder like consistency. Now pour some ghee into a kadhai and add in the powdered cashews. We're going to be cooking the cashews for about 4 to 5 minutes on medium heat until they get lightly golden in color. Pour in some room temperature milk and give this all a good stir. It is now time to add in some unsweetened milk powder. You can easily find this in most Indian grocery stores. Let's give this all a good mix until everything comes together. This should take approximately 3 to 4 minutes on medium heat. Now add in the sugar or any sweetener of choice and mix well to combine. We're going to keep stirring the mixture on low medium heat until the mixture comes together and begins to leave the sides of the pan, just as shown in the video. Now turn the stove off and add in some freshly ground cardamom powder and give this all a good mix. Finally pour in some rose syrup that will give our modaks its lovely rose like color taste and fragrance. Let's mix this all up really well and just look at that beautiful color. Let's allow this cashew mixture to cool down completely before we start making our modaks. In the meantime, take some gulkand which is really a sweet preserve made with rose petals. This is easily available in most Indian grocery stores. Take a tiny amount and roll it in between your palms to get that perfect round shape ball. Repeat the same process with the remaining gulkan and once they're all done, set them aside. Our mixture has cooled down. We're now going to take a modak mold and lightly grease it with some ghee. Now take a small portion of the cashew mixture and place on both sides of the mold. Now using your fingers press down the mixture firmly to get that perfect shape. Now place a gulkan ball in the center and close the mold tightly. Discard the excess mixture from the sides and the bottom and seal the bottom by pressing it with your fingers. Now gently open the mold and carefully remove the modak. Repeat the same process with the remaining mixture and set all the modaks aside. Now that looks just perfect. Transfer the modaks to a puja thali and garnish each modak with a sliced pistachio and these are ready to be offered to Lord Ganesha. So go ahead and make Bappa's favorite modaks at home with this simple yet delicious recipe and let me know how it turned out. Like, follow and subscribe for more such recipes and remember to click on the bell icon to get new video updates. Happy cooking and thank you for watching.